Uh, we've, we've had an opportunity to talk with them not only right after they got on orbit, but then after they returned home. And so we kind of got some advice uh, through, uh, uh, through the different phases of the mission, if you will. And, and I'll let everybody kind of, uh, if they want to, jump in with something they heard from them that, that they thought was very helpful. I think for me, one of the, uh, the best piece of advice from, from Doug when we were talking about the landing piece, uh, he, he talked about staying ahead of the vehicle. And, uh, and that just means, you know, making sure you are, are thinking ahead of the next step, the next phase. It's, it's very similar to what we see when we're in the flying world, when you're out there in, our, in the jets that we're flying around. And, and so I thought that was a good piece of advice that as we're getting ready to come into land, things are going to start happening very fast, and you just need to make sure you're staying ahead of the vehicle in each, each phase as we went through that. Something that uh, Bob and Doug mentioned to us, uh, as Soichi said earlier, is all of the different sounds that, that we're going to have during the, the tanking as well as during ascent uh, uh, on the way to orbital insertion. And I would say that my personal favorite, though, was to think about with four of us, uh, how we were going to pack our food. And so we actually <laughs> rearranged our food to make sure that it, it, it was easy to access and it also made sense considering that there were four of us. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I would add along to that, not just packing the food, but dealing with things mm -hmm. inside the capsule and how to do that efficiently so it doesn't eat your lunch while you're trying to accomplish other things. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Strong side. Strong side. <laughs>